Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I set up my new planner for the year and get it ready for basically budgeting every week. Okay, so this is my old one. It is Blue Sky, I believe. I think I got it at Walmart. And then this is my new one. This one I actually got from Target. I had a gift card, so I thought I would just try it there. And this is um, this brand. I really like this one. It's super similar to the one I have. I try to stick with the same one because I kind of like the style I go with. What I like to do is carry one of these around. It's like a giant um, paper clip. Honestly, I found it at work and I've kind of been using it ever since because it can hold a huge stack of papers. So by the time this year's up, it can hold the entire thing together. So I like to have one of these on hand. So that way, if I'm like in March, I can have it at March and I can just open it and it'll be at the right month. So that's what I like to do. The first thing I always do when I get a new planner is I transfer any information that I need for paying bills or accounts and stuff like that. I can't show it, but this page is, let me, this page is full of my So one of the first things I love to do when I get a new planner is basically transfer the current stuff over to the new planner. So I like to do is like a for in the first page, if it's available, I will use an entire page and put all of my passwords, my account number, like stuff for my bank, anything I need to do. So that way when I am going through every week and I'm like, okay, I paid this off. Oh, I need to pay this. So I'll log in and pay it. And if I don't know it, if I don't know the account number or the password or what email I use, because me and Ruben do have joint everything. So I don't know if it's his email or my email. I can just resort back to this page. So that's what I'm going to do. I love doing that. So that way I don't have to like go through my phone or search through my bag and see if I wrote down a password somewhere. So that's the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do. <clears throat> In this new planner, I don't have a front page available, but I will use the very last page in it. It's not like a paper, it's like, uh, like a cardstock-y feel, I think. So this is what I have going on so far. I'll fill it in off camera. <laughs> okay, so another thing I actually just recently started doing this was I would make my own labels. Um, I got them for Ruben's car payment, my car payment, rent, both of our paychecks, for our insurance, electric bill, and then our credit cards. And I just printed a bunch off so I can, so I don't run out easily. But basically, 
Um, I print these off at work. You can use the website avery.com and it's free. Just make an account. I actually, I don't think you need to make an account. I do it because I use it for work. So I save those projects on my account, but it's free. You just need a printer and these labels. You can do, they have different sizes. I use all kinds of sizes at work. So I really like this. So far, it's been fairly easy because... The more I use these, the less writing and scribble is on there, and it's a lot easier to find it. It does get a little tricky because Ruben gets paid every week, I get paid every other week, so there are some weeks where there's two of them. So those days, I, or those weeks, I sometimes will use this box for Friday, or I'll add a sticky note so that way it doesn't get crazy in here. And then at this point, I'll go ahead and fill in what I d already do know what the bills will be. Um, like, I can't, I get the same paycheck every two weeks, so I can write that in. Um, Ruben doesn't necessarily do it, so I'll, I'll wait until Thursday before, so that way I can know what his check is going to be. I already know what our payments on majority, except for rent and electricity, I won't know because it's what we use. Um, but for the ones I do know, I'll go ahead and fill it in. I do fill in what's owed, but I won't fill in what's paid until I pay it. And, um, sometimes I will overpay on things. So, like, with our cars, we have the same car payment on both of our cars one of them's like two or three dollars off from the other one but i overpay on both of them i overpay a lot on my car but i overpay a little bit on his car so sometimes the payment will be a little different so i'll just go ahead and correct it with a different color so that way i know what i'm doing and then i only on fridays will note what's paid what's done so that way the rest is kind of cleared for me the last thing i like to do is on the side here I do like to keep track of what I've already saved for rent so I will do like um, I normally save rent for these weeks I don't touch this one so I'll put on the side current rent and I'll just keep up with it Okay, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, bye guys.